uh, I'm not sure what you call evidence. Because there is no evidence for any God. There's no proof that there's anything that has existed, will exist, that is a divine creature. There's no proof that you have that we can break the laws of physics. So, so the question if you want was, to say the there's a supernatural, for hold on, atheism. then that's the you have to ask to break the physical laws. Now, when it comes to atheism as being less trusted than even rapists, uh, I want to say this. Uh, of course, people who are indoctrinated to believe that everybody who is thinking like them, behaving like them, are going to not trust us because we don't think like them. Um, and that ties into your proof. We, you know, atheism isn't wrong uh, because we... It isn't what? I didn't hear that. I'm sorry. ...reject your faith because we reject what you consider evidence. The, I ha you know, I study cellular biology, and uh, looking at the... the numerous, numerous species that have existed, uh, the adaptations, um, the, the, the parasitic creatures on this planet, the anomalies, the fact that we found right. T-Rexes with tumors, you know, the overwhelming biological evidence that no creator is up there uh, pushing anything towards a designed anything, but everything is just chaotically living um, and, and trying chaotic? to exist. Absolutely. No, no, no. We live in chaos. I, I don't and, want to interrupt you, you so I, we I don't. want you to... Because... Yeah, I don't want to interrupt you. I want you to finish, but if I can just say something when you're done, because I had a question on what you said, but go ahead. I want to be completely silent for the whole thing. So first, let, let, uh, let Rachel finish, and then you can come back. Yeah, no problem. Well, you know what? People talk about free will all the damn time, and I get tired of hearing that because you, you talk about free will, and free will is... Uh, you're the creator of your own disaster, but God was somehow responsible for giving you this quote-unquote free will, which punishes you for everything that's not subservient to him. And then it, it tries to explain the chaos of this, this world. And when I say chaos, I mean um, billions of species interacting and intertwining in a way that each of us humans are conscious that seven billion of us others exist, but we don't live our lives trying to make sure they exist happily, healthily. Uh, we go about our lives, and if you see car crashes and accidents and uh, horrendous things that people do, we do exist in chaos, because you can't predict what's going to happen to you when, and uh, you can't predict what animal will or won't hurt you. Uh, what environment that's going to happen in, if you'll get a parasite, if you won't, if you'll get a tumor, if you won't, all of these things at play. Yes, the chaos is there. And I love it when Christians do this and they glaze over it and they look at a beautiful sunset and they go, oh, look at this majesty, this is God's creation. They don't do the same thing when they see a tsunami and it's destroyed a complete half of a country. Uh, they don't go, oh, look at this, this is the beauty of God's design. Well, the designers put fucked up, okay? Because he created uh, worms that will eat your brains out, worms that will eat your bladder, uh, worms that will live in your gut. I mean, all kinds of crazy, hideous things that you would never imagine if you were creating something to be so majestically beautiful. So I don't know what evidence you think you have for some divine creator, but he's not that divine because science could do better. And by the way, if your creator is so divine, why didn't his book entail all of the scientific knowledge we would ever need to exist on this planet? Why is he only worried with our genitalia and what we're doing with it? Because uh, that sounds to me like an uneducated, pedantic mind that doesn't know the scope of intellect enough to talk about science, but only knows what you're doing with your genitalia. And as far as why atheists talk about God and rage about him, because we have right. to stoop to your level. You don't understand our level, because when we say there's no God, we're saying there's no evidence for any God. And so we so have to come down no to God? your level for you to right, understand hold on, hold, how we look on. at your religion. Uh, hey, hold on. Call it. What, what, what can we call you? What is your name? Rich. Rich, okay. It doesn't have to be a real name. It just has to be something we can call. That you. is my real name. 
<laughs> you, you, you talked about um, proof. Oh, and by the you way, talked- I want to thank the host. Thank, thanks for going through all that because I wanted to respond to what you said because there's one thing I think you would agree on, but let me let the gentleman talk and then... Uh, the, what, uh, no, that's fine. No, no, please tell us what you think. That, that would be very interesting. Oh, you want- Okay. Um, th- this is what I think... I didn't hear any proof and evidence that would show that atheism is accurate and correct. What you said was... Oh. Your God, your God. We don't have the obligation to provide you any proof of the negative. You did, you did claim that God doesn't exist. Yeah, you did claim that God doesn't exist. I claim that there is no evidence. Did you not hear this? Guys, there is no evidence. I know there. I agree that there's no evidence that atheism is accurate and correct. So we can't provide you evidence of a negative. It is impossible to prove a negative. I can rifle off six arguments for God's existence real quick. And then I want you to give me some arguments for atheism. Well, we can repeat your argument. What we're going argument. to Listen, first on. of all is by the nature of through objective moral values. Um, excuse me. We can talk excuse about abiogenesis also. But I haven't heard any evidence that atheism is accurate and correct. Et cetera. I didn't get a chance I, I, to respond. I, you told me to respond, and then when I start, you cut me off. But go ahead. But he's not that divine because science could do better with our genitalia and what we're doing with it. But he's not that divine because science could do better with our genitalia and what we're doing with it. But he's not that divine because science could do better with our genitalia and what we're doing we're with it. We're starting to get a little concerned about this whole hell thing. <laughs> um, what's the dealio on that?